Growth hack your brand and then destroy anything that moves. You need to grind hustle your platform manifest. It's all about entropy, elegance, and finance. Blockchain. Invest in real estate every day. Invest in real estate every morning. You need to mind hack the mind shackles that are grabbing your mind. Entrepreneurs. 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 Entrepreneur. Teach a man to fish and he'll eat for a day. Eat the man who just fished and you'll eat for a lifetime. Bartons! Business money hacks. Our arrows will blot out the sun. I'm, I'm at a loss for words with this introduction. Then let's just start, Bridge. Welcome to Business Money Hacks. My name is Dustin Taylor Hahn. Uh, and I'm Bridge Stewart. Today we're going to talk about how to expand your network and making sure that you have a good web, a good group of people that you can work with and you can work with well. And this is a thing that scares a lot of people is this meeting new people, networking, being able to put yourself out there. And that terrifies people to the core. I don't trust anyone is if I meet somebody new, I immediately think, oh, what do they want from me? Well, exactly. What are they trying to get out of me? You know, why are they looking at me intensely? Why are they looking at my scar? I would almost compare it to the mask that you're literally wearing. You have to wear a, a figurative mask. What I like to do is put on a big smile. And that's what helps me. And I almost treat the smile as a mask uh, in these situations. So they see this smiling man <laughs> coming at them. I've seen you do this. I've seen you run walk into someone and you, with your hands out in front of you, smiling like a grin, like a shark tooth grin. And it's quite intimidating. Yeah, it throws them off base and it helps me get into the mind state yeah. of uh, the networker, the smiling networker I call is this the, mask. I call it Bridges shark smile. That's, that's a compliment. <laughs> I wanted to talk about your network, and your network is kind of like a web, like a spider's web. Exactly. So everyone that you know is a spider on that web, and you have to make sure that you're the biggest spider. You have to make sure that you're the biggest spider, and also that in this web that you're catching uh, various other insects and cocooning them to make sure that you can feast later in this network of business. You know, you watch the Discovery Channel, you see often... Uh, spiders will be in the same web competing for the same insects and often those spiders uh, rip each other limb from limb um, so networking can be a little tricky sometimes mm -hmm. I have a technique I wanted to know what you thought of it when I'm put on an email chain let's say there's uh, some people CC me on an email I make sure to email everyone who's been CC'd privately and say don't trust th that other person you know don't yeah. trust that the five other people I don't whisper it. I type it in smaller font so it seems yeah. more like a whisper. But I say, don't trust those other people. And that's how I grow my, my network. There's spiders. There's flies. And sometimes the, some of those spiders don't have venom. Scorpions have venom as well. If you ever thrown a scorpion at a spider's web, you know, everything gets all tangled up. And all the spiders just start... <laughs> it becomes a mess. <laughs> it becomes a mess. So what you want to be, ultimately, is the scorpion within a spider's web. Yeah. Also, scorpions can actually crawl through webs better than spiders. That's a fun <laughs> I fact. I didn't know that. Yeah. They choose not to make webs. I, I had no idea. <laughs> They're that strong that they Sneaky. choose not to. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. This does kind of remind me of the book, The Rat and the Scorpion. Uh, yes. child rearing in the 21st century. Now, you don't have children. Uh, no. You've disseminated yourself. Yes, I know that. disseminated. Can you say a little bit about your book that you wrote, The Rat and the Scorpion, Child Rearing in the 21st Century? Well, I like to compare uh, adults as scorpions, as we've just done. We're all scorpions in this game, and rats are our children. And so it is the job of the scorpion to teach the rat its ways so that a rat can uh, eventually uh, be able to tackle a spider on a web. Otherwise, th that rat's going to starve to death. As we all know, rats don't work together. They work apart from each other. And that's how you get a rat king, when they tie their uh, tails together. And uh, if, if rats try and collaborate, uh, you get the plague. I think that's a good segue, the plague. Uh, I don't want to get too far into the plague. It's one of my favorites. But we, we do have a guest on. Our guest today is Tony Marsh Capone. 
Hey, how's it going? Hey, what, are you, what are you doing there, Bridge? Hey, how's hey. it going, Tony? Hey, Dustin, and thank you. Thank you for having me. No problem, Tony. Just, appreciate just some it. insight for our viewers. Our grandfathers actually worked together in business. Yeah, that's uh, right. Many decades uh, ago. I want to say it was the shipping industry. My grandfather moved a lot of uh, product for your grandfather. Yes, you he know, did. People and things, uh, you know, lots of conducive uh, working together to spread uh, items across the country and the world and you know you know maybe some items that you didn't expect you'd find in certain areas you know things that maybe were illegal in some spaces it segues great into our, our discussion of, of networking our our grandfathers networked together in order to spread this web so the uh the mascarpone family that's a is that a was is that a cheese or is that uh yeah a mos- it's a cheese I, uh, a common misconception mascarpone a delicious cheese but my family was not in the mascarpone industry, we weren't providing that kind of cheese. Mm-hmm. My family did uh, in the old country on a farm that did produce cheese, but it was a mozzarella and not a mascarpone. So I, don't, I like to make sure I cut everybody off right at the fucking throat. Okay, well, That's I don't, awesome. this, this, I don't want to upset a... Mr. Mascarpone while we, we had him come in here. <laughs> yeah, <but you're> not, <laughs> that, I mean, that no, was a colossal don't. mistake, yeah. Dustin. Yeah. I'll keep my mouth shut. <laughs> yeah, you keep your fucking mouth. <laughs> you keep your fucking tram shut. So, Tony, uh, we brought you here today to talk about the industry that you're involved in, Waste management. Yeah, uh, waste management. That's my primary uh, money maker. There, uh, totally legitimate business. I uh, just want to say that it's totally legitimate. Everything we do in the waste management industry uh, is legit. You know, I, I don't know. What do you Garbage. produce? What do you guys produce? Uh, spliced animals and um... right. So there's lots of leftover um, skin, fur, things like that. And then sometimes even some of the people you work with. They could be considered a waste themselves. Yeah. You know what I mean? Now you're speaking my language. Yeah, you know what I mean? There's a lot of people working for me, and sometimes you don't know how to get rid of them because you don't want them to take their families with them. If one of them is undesirable, you don't... You don't want to lose the whole stock. You don't want (laughs) to... That would be terrible. Well, you know, you got to separate them. Don't let them create a bond that you'll Mm. have to break later. I mean, they clump together. They got their own little familial units that may work within your company, but... You know, if you got a mother and a baby and a, and a father and you, you, you let them stay together, they get to share ideas. They get to let that ruminate. Yeah, once all these people start coming up with ideas, uh, that's when you get into a lot of trouble. Yeah, you I don't mean, want them to marinate. You, know, you got to compress a salad. Or you put all the, you know, your dressings on that. You let it sit. You let it marinate. You know, get all the flavors. But with people, you don't want them talking to each other. You don't want ideas yeah. marinating in their heads. You're better off just separating them in the different corners of the compound and just not letting them see each other or the light of day. It's interesting because in the technology sector, I feel like my product is ideas. And even with that, though, uh, the amount of filth that comes out of my industry is gargantuan. I wish there was someone who could come in and just murder the ideas in my industry. I I wish there was something that could be done with that. Yeah, I mean, you know, there's a lot of different ways to murder lots of different things. But... You know, ideas, they're, no, they're less concrete. How to explicitly murder an idea, you probably want to murder, you know, the, the people who have any ideas, if they're not you. Well, are you too familiar with TED Talks? <laughs> TED Talks. Sure, yeah. yeah. TED Talks. Yeah. I hate TED Talks. Their uh, slogan is, ideas worth spreading. I think that's the worst thing you can do is, is spread your ideas. You want to keep them to yourself. In my industry, if someone talks, we call them a rat. We don't like people talking outside of the term. Especially children. And they should call it rat talks. He's just a just a, a gathering idea. of rats. That's a good. I don't even want to say idea now. I don't like the word anymore. This is so, just rat j- talk. J- these are Filthy rat, rat words. talk. <laughs> Makes me want to puke. I met Ted. Uh, oh, no, really? <laughs> I met Ted yeah. ten years ago. Oh, what's Ted like? You know, I I came at him with the classic. You know, I stomped towards him, uh, grinning, uh, ear to ear. The shark smile. The, the shark, shark smile. Grin. And he kind of backed up a little bit. Uh, I mean, I was coming at him pretty fast. I would say five miles an hour. Um, oh, hey, and slow down there, you Speedy Gonzalez. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I, I, I like speed. What can I say? So I uh, thought that Ted originally was a giant head in a vat, like uh, like in Wizard of Oz. And I was always jealous because that's, that's what I want to get to. But that's not what Ted is. He's not a giant head spreading ideas and saying, use my stage. Common misconception. Yeah. yeah. Sure. His name is Ted Krober. He suits the name for rat talks. I mean, I think he's a rat. 
I think the guy's a rat. TED Talks is the one of the worst things that could happen to humanity. Uh, my question for you, Tony, is oh. we're dealing with having to get rid of ideas. How is it you nip this problem in the bud in regards to rats? Well, I didn't mention this before, but I'm, I'm part of a large network myself. Uh, with waste management stretches in a number of different directions. But the fact of the matter is that if you really want to make an impact, if you want your networking to really matter, you got to make sure that your claws are in, that everybody on your network, whether they want to be there or not, they're all on the same page. That's why I've written a book myself. The book is called The Power of Primal Persuasion. Oh, the Power of Primal Persuasion. Yeah, that's right. So when you get a guy who's trying to shave a little bit off the top, he's not paying tribute, you're going to want to have to use your power of persuasion. Uh, like a hamster in a corner where it's got nothing to do, nowhere to go, mm -hmm. and you gotta make it feel the pressure. You gotta make it feel like they have no other choice but to obey. Like those obey hats I've been seeing. Is that what that is? The obey hat? The hat that says I think obey? So. Is that what that I is? think so. I like to break down a number of different persuasion techniques. Uh, you got the knees. You know, some people are really fond of their knees. They like to be able to walk every day. I use my knees almost every day, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, well, if you can prevent someone from using their knees every day, or at least threaten the idea that they might not be able to use those knees no more, now we're on to something, yeah, right? That person's going to be like, whoa, wait a second. I use these every day. Yeah, like a yeah. metaphor, right? Like cutting the knees off your competitor, right? Yeah, a metaphor. Yeah, sure. It's, yeah. A, it's, a, it's a metaphor. It's a metaphor for business uh, business workings. Because you're a legitimate business. I'm a legitimate business. You're a legitimate this is a legitimate business, business and I only do things uh, by the books completely. Well, yeah. I, I, I really like this idea of you cornering a hamster until it obeys uh, at the risk of bringing up too many animal metaphors. Uh, the, the I could imagine a scorpion doing that as well. <laughs> a scorpion, after jumping off of a spider web, cornering a hamster uh, with its venom. Uh, the, I could definitely I envision that. I think that was that. a Disney movie. Yeah. I feel like I've seen that in one of the, one of the kids' children's movies. I think it was in Five Goes West. So, uh, so you that's know, step one, uh, breaking the knee, breaking someone's knees. Breaking someone's knees, that's one option. I mean, you want to work, I, a metaphorical option. Uh, the reason I'm such an expert at this is I've done it for a number of different guys. You know, I worked for Carmine Spuccini. I worked for Frankie DeFoot. Mm -hmm. I worked for Frankie Knuckles DeFoot. Knuckles Nelson, Tony Corelli. I don't uh, know any of these people, but they sound strong. They're, they're very, no, they're, these, are, these are some guys. These are some guys, I'll tell you that much. These are very body part oriented people. Yeah, Frankie DeFoot. Actually, I shouldn't mention him. He, he he specifically asked to be kept out of my mouth and anybody else's. Well, absolutely, mouth. we'll cut but, his name out of this yeah, one. Yeah, please yeah, edit we'll that cut. out in post uh, or, or whatever you guys do. I usually have one of my monkeys just banging at a computer until this thing great, comes up. Great, great. Yeah, usually it works out in the end when you let a monkey do that. Hmm. Well. This is a question I have. I mean, we've talked about using the I word here, uh, spreading it. Are you a rat? Oh, no, no, no. See, I'm not naming names of this thing here, all right? I mean, I'm just explaining the various techniques in which you can do certain things. I'm not I'm not, I'm not. not going to point no fingers you at You named nobody. a couple names on here. I mean, these Frank just, of the these Foot. You said Frank of the Foot a couple times, oh. and now I'm saying Frank of the Foot. So. <laughs> okay. I can't get the word out of my... Frankie the Foot. Frankie right. the Foot. Okay. <laughs> Frankie <laughs> the say, Foot. All right, guys. Uh, I, I probably... Maybe just cut it all out, though. You know why? All right. We'll I, cut I, out. We'll I, cut I might have rubbed a few guys out. the wrong way. I might be not... I, I maybe shouldn't be saying some of these things, you guys. I we'll, mean, we... We're all, we're all in the same spider web, you and me. You One and thing me. is that the more time we say Frankie the Foot, it's mm -hmm. going to be that much harder for oh, the geez. monkey to remove it. But <laughs> it, we will remove all mentions of please, Frankie the Foot. Please, please just forget about it. Of course. any of those names there. So one thing that has always interested me is whenever I'm in the New York area, hobnobbing there. I'm always seeing you, Tony. I'm, I, I see you at, at these galas and these the upper echelon of the New York uh, socialites. Waste management. That gets you up there, huh? That's, yeah, when uh, I think waste management, I think of a garbage man. I, I think, think of, of a oh, sewer, hey. of a, a yeah, sewer yeah. rat, a, a, a man with with a, a just a vest on and just screaming screaming at people asking for change. Is, is, that, is, is that, that how your garbage man does? I'll, I'll tell you this. My, my I'll tell you man, this. My garbage man has very big eyes, and he's got one eye looking one way and one eye looking the other way. And he's not he's wearing smiling. a vest. He's not wearing a shirt. He's just wearing an orange vest and, and a white underwear, and he's just screaming at me and asking for change. My garbage man is very bad at networking. 
I will say this. So how does a kind of garbage say man this. network? I will say this. As a waste management guy, I'm I'm a top earner though. All right, I'm in the upper echelon. Okay, so you're driving the truck. <laughs> no, there's no there's no truck. I, know, I certainly don't when drive. You say I'm not waste <laughs> management. I'm thinking of a man who's screaming, wearing no shirt. And asking for change. Listen, I'm often seen without a shirt and screaming, but that has nothing to do with with. <laughs> Maybe I'm getting two terms confused. <laughs> we don't often get terms confused on this show, so that's why I'm getting all thrown off here. Yeah, yeah my garbage man is definitely off-putting, but he's rarely screaming at me. I, I don't know what the matter is. When I was here. a child, the, uh, his name was Richard, and he would scream at my mother when my father wasn't around, and he would throw a trash can into the window and he would always break the window. That was the thing. We'd always fix the window and the man would, would scream at my mother and throw a garbage can into the window. You, you let a guy scream at your mother like that? I was a young boy. I was I was in the cupboard. Doesn't matter. You're she, a man. How old are you? You're a man. She, I would, I, you're, you're four years old. You're, during, still a man. you're the man of the house if your father's not home. During the day, I would be trapped in the pantry and my father wouldn't let us out. So it would be me and my 11 brothers and sisters and he'd, it would just be my mother... Opening the door when my father got home and telling us, oh, the gar- Richard threw, threw trash at me again. This was in Texas, right? So This gets, was in Texas. My oil man father. It gets just, hot in pantries in Texas. Mm-hmm. He'd say, sweat it out. Get in that hot pantry. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, that does sound like a very great learning experience, though, to, to be able to sweat it out in a hot pantry. I mean, maybe uh, you should have written the rat and the scorpion. <laughs> Well, I, I you know I wrote the forward for it. So. It's true. It's true. Let me write the forward. It was just a, a lot of red X's over and over again because I let my monkey because my, my monkey wrote the forward. I have to be honest with you. I didn't write the forward. It was the monkey. I'm so sorry. going going back to waste management here because I I feel like yeah what we have gone way off course on this so waste management we were talking about uh frank of the foot no i'm sorry we were talking listen about- listen you, you gotta stop naming these other guys if you're gonna keep naming names like this uh, i'd kind of appreciate the possibility of staying here down in new zealand you might be in trouble the places at this point, i might is what you're saying that's what i'm saying i might be in hot you water and i might i might have not sh- i might have should have not done this you know the guys told me they said what are you doing what are you you going to go on a talkie cast and i said what are they, these guys are harmless they're not, it's not going to be any big deal about this no but i've got plenty of pantries for you to hide in i could lock them up if you need to i yeah, i'd appreciate uh, i've got a big a, wall around my compound and nothing can get in, out or in or or, or in, in or out all right, well, I, I'm offering my services in certain capacities, waste management in particular. If you need to clear some space on your uh, uh, of your employees, if you need to shuffle things around a little bit, all I'm saying is I can provide. Okay. So just to be clear, you don't pick up garbage. Yeah, no, no, nah, there's no garbage involved in what I'm doing here. I mean, I put, things go in the garbage, but... Uh, it's usually not actual trash, unless you count Joey Scarponi. He was a he was a real piece of trash. I just want to make sure that you're not gonna throw a trash bin into my kitchen window. I don't throw trash bins. <laughs> One of the chapters in your book was uh, about tracking people because you need to be able to track. Yeah, well, so you know, mean? well, certain people uh, think they can get away from certain areas and. Uh, Step one is to kind of find where their family is. You go to them first. You go, hey, where's Joey at, right? She goes, well, I'm not going to tell you who my son is. I know what you're going to do to him. And I go, what am I going to do to him? You don't know what I'm going to do to him. Like I said, it is primal persuasion. You primally persuade the old lady to give up the location of a son so you could uh, have a whack at him. You got to whack off a lot of guys. It's an interesting fact that um, families... Uh, apparently actually care about each other. Like, mm-hmm. it's it's one of the things that people really care about. It's the number one families. weakness. families. Yeah. You're targeting the family. It's almost the most primal. Yeah. Uh, what if that person just doesn't even pick up the phone? What if they say, all right, my family, uh, screw them. Screw those rats. I'm out of town. Well, first thing is you got to make sure the mother's not going to talk. I mean, she already knows you're on the way. You, she might have a number for him and not been telling you it. She's going to call him up and say, oh, no, Tony Mascaponi's coming your way. You know, like, I can't let that happen. So first thing, you know, shut it down right there. What do you do with her? Uh, what do you do with her? Uh, okay, okay, how do I do this? How do I do this? Uh, legitimate, uh, legitimate business. 
I mean, that, this is this is just the real basic stuff. I don't want to yeah, give away too much. this is a very simple approach. This, I'm understanding it. There's yeah. not a lot of uh, animal metaphors in this. Yeah, I mean, I could. You want me to pump it up with animal metaphors? That would be nice. I mean, it would be. <laughs> you know, uh, squirrels. They they collect nuts. Mm-hmm. They're in the winter. They like ch- put them in the cheeks and then they put them. They bury them somewhere so that way nobody finds their nuts. Mm-hmm. We like to bury certain people in places where nobody finds them. Just like squirrel nuts. So, you know, some nuts you bury here, some nuts you bury there. Some legs you bury here, some arms you bury, uh, nuts you bury there. So, well, I gotta say, uh, that's a some pretty of them you drop at a bottom. metaphor that you just used. Just a general question. Tracking people and, and beating their, their knees, what does that have to do with business? What does that have to do with waste management is my question. I'm sorry, did I? Okay, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this. Um... Everything I mean, I've said is a metaphor. That's what I'm trying to say. I mean, this is how we speak in the tech sector as well. We'll often talk about ripping the skin off of our competitor. Yeah, yeah. We're not really yeah. doing that. No. I, mean, I mean, well. So I hope that clears it up. We've definitely said metaphor a lot. Metaphors always clear things up. Primal persuasion. Put the fear into the people that you got to work with. Primal persuasion. Primal persuasion. Primal persuasion. Wow. That's almost like... Being a caveman or something. It's it's, it's some powerful words right there. Primal. Well, I want to say this goes all the way back to, you know, the Stone Age. Primal persuasion started where the first man, you know, he he wants the woman, but the other guy wants the woman. Mm -hmm. So he goes, hey, I got a big rock. You got a small head. What the fuck are you going to do? That sounds like your experience of... uh... Your, your childhood in a pantry, almost. It, was, it seems very primal. The garbage man might not have been a garbage man at all. It might have been a caveman outside your house. It, it explains the lack of shirt, certainly. Yeah, cavemen didn't, they didn't they wear shirts. They didn't have shirts. They didn't wear shirts, you're right. And they screamed. Well, is there, I... anything else that, uh, <laughs> is there anything else that you wanted to discuss with us today, Tony? You know, I mean, keep your mouth shut. You know, don't don't actually spread this. Don't post this to the internet or anything so anyone can hear it. And then, um, again, I'm available for contracting. You guys need some hands. Uh, you need some hands removed, metaphorically speaking, of course. Well, that's great. I still have no idea what you do for a living. But I think this has been a great <laughs> podcast that we've had today. Thank you so much, Tony, hey, for coming about and joining it. us. Yeah, about thank it. you so much. If you like what you listened to today, please... Hit the like button on, hit the on like whatever, button on whatever iTunes. you're listening to. Absolutely. You can subscribe. You can hit like on iTunes, on really any platform in which you're listening to this. Uh, just like, subscribe, tell your friends, network out there. Mm-hmm. Uh, go Be the out biggest there, spider. start smiling at people and tell them about the Business Money Hacks podcast. It's spreading like a wildfire. We want it to spread like those California wildfires. Exactly. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> the, oh, so, <laughs> the uh, so yeah, just we really spread, spread like, the fire. Like uh, want to spread like a like a nice cream cheese. Yeah, like a nice cream cheese. Also, leave a comment because we want to hear what you guys think. If you, if you have any thoughts in your mind. Don't make them ideas, because we don't want any of your ideas. We don't want any ideas. We want, we want you to just say how great we are. Just blind love towards our podcast is, is all that we want. And we need to hear it. We need to see it. We need to feel that love. Yeah. I, I need to feel that. I need it. I need it.